before trendy cake i have given several interviews but i when i could not clear the first round of interviews they asked me some uh, joint techniques i even didn't know uh, as per sequel i know left join inner join all those things but i didn't know broadcast join all those things but i couldn't clear those interviews even with the basics hello everyone this is mansa nagraj from trendy tech welcome to another exciting episode of conversations with big data experts we will delve into akhil's journey from navigating initial challenges in data pipelines without a good grasp of big data framework internals to now handling demanding big data projects Join us as we uncover Akhil's transformation from struggling to clear even a single round of interview to now thriving as a data engineer in PCS. So hi Akhil, a very warm welcome. Thank you so much for joining in uh, the session today to help us out to understand your experiences as a big data engineer which will be helping a lot of our audience out there. So uh, shall we just get started with the session with a brief introduction or an overview about yourself and the work experience that you hold. Uh, firstly, good morning Mansa. and then a career with um, briefing with respect to me is like uh, i have basically i started as a mechanical engineer and then uh, i worked in some companies uh, for few several months and then i moved into it with tcs and then initially i got into a, a, a big data support projects and then i started my career into developing some big data pipelines and i overall i have a two and a half years of experience and still continuing great okay so uh, as you've highlighted you started your uh, data engineering career with a support project and you initially faced a lot of challenges is what you mentioned so uh, what were these challenges and if you could probably recall a few and highlight them uh, basically when i started this uh, uh, into support projects like i don't have any much idea about this big data engineering into data domain i just know some basic sql all those things but uh, the 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 tool which i was supporting was uh, aws emr which is an uh, full scaled map reduce thing but i just know how what is the mapper function or reducer function in those in that case but internally it has many things like uh, spark hadoop hive everything i didn't know much about this but and i am monitoring these pipelines i used to face many failure of the pipelines like uh, out of memory issues dot save error these so many things i just used to give a rerun as per my seniors but i couldn't know why what and why what why these uh, issues are happening but i just explored in internet but i couldn't get much information but after uh, attending some part of this course ultimate big data course uh, how sumit sir explained me on uh, uh, out of mem- how out of memory issues will be prone like with respect to partition queue or so many things that drive driver out of memory issues all those things then i gave my insights to my clients so that they have solved this issues some basic uh, points to pointers so that they can increase the memory size of this thing all those things okay great so how did these uh, failures while you were monitoring the jobs uh, shape your approach to problem solving and troubleshooting in the subsequent projects probably if you can uh, talk about that in that sense like uh, i uh, i tried to solve without uh, with without getting this uh, ma- out of memory issues in the initial stages of developing the code itself uh, like uh, you using this uh, serverless approaches all those things and also correctly uh, calculating the memory of these things memory of the uh, data and then we can give this uh, give the number of the worker nodes and job nodes in that case mm-hmm. Okay so whatever challenges that you had faced initially you tried to uh, probably solve them in the initial steps itself so that you didn't end up like getting those errors yes, in the yes. later phases perfect that's nice but even though we would get some issues it's data is dynamic these days we couldn't yeah get this right okay so uh, i was just wondering is it possible for an individual uh, who is having a good programming knowledge and a uh, high level understanding of uh, big data without a you know like a good grasp of the uh, frameworks to become a successful data engineer as per you whatever experiences you had so far uh, as early i mentioned i faced some issues with having only a very few knowledge like high level knowledge so i could not uh, get uh, deep into the pro- pipelines over there but we should definitely need a book, good programming knowledge and in depth understanding and low level understanding of each and every 
uh, big data technologies, especially with Spark and uh, some other thing, Hadoop, HDFS systems, all those things. It it would be great if we have good pri- programming knowledge also in the senior levels. But in junior levels, I think medium level of programming knowledge would, would also help. But we should have complete pro- high level, low level knowledge in programming languages also. Right. Okay. Uh- well, uh, so as you mentioned, uh, just to maybe scrape through as a data engineer, it's okay to have a high level understanding as you had done earlier without, you know, like knowing the internals, you could uh, probably monitor the jobs, but you didn't know what exactly uh, was happening internally so that you can give effective or optimized solutions. So for that, I think it's really important that you know the, uh, you e- equip yourself with the needed expertise in this field. Yes. Now, did you feel the need to uh, gain that necessary skill set uh, to cater to this demanding career as a big data engineer? If so, what were the resources that was uh, handy for you, uh, which helped you in gaining the uh, skills? Firstly, I had uh, explored Udemy, Coursera, all those things, but I couldn't find a proper structured way of uh, learning in there. But uh, some of my friends and seniors uh, 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 suggested me with uh, Trendy Tech Sumit's Sumit course. Then I explored and explored it. I thought it was good. And I also explored some other opportunities as well. But I felt with uh, the feedback what I got from the Trendy Tech and from Sumit sir. So I chose Trendy Tech. And initially, initial stages itself, uh, first week, few within few weeks itself, I got some very good knowledge, understanding of the basic, which I don't know, even though I'm working in big data development projects at that time also. Even without knowing uh, Spark internals, I wrote a PySpark code with just some syntax from online. That's it. Okay. So, uh, as you mentioned that you got an opportunity to gain that in-depth understanding of uh, the basics as well as the advanced topics, several yes. important concepts of the big data world, frameworks and tools uh, from the master's pro- ultimate master's program by Sumit sir. So, in what ways did this advanced uh, learning like optimization techniques enhance your ability to work on the projects effectively? Can you maybe give us a real-time example of what are the optimizations that you, uh, you know, applied on the real-world projects? Spark optimizations really helped me uh, a lot in gaining some good projects within my company. Uh, uh, Even uh, I mentioned with my uh, internal uh, interviews like, I have some good knowledge on uh, Spark optimizations. They asked how. Uh, they, I first started mentioning this join optimizations of large tables, uh, small tables, medium tables, broadcast joins, all those things. And then uh, partitions queue especially, sorting techniques, and hash aggregate versus sort aggregate, all these things. And map optimizations in terms of, uh, uh, I just forgot this name. <laughs> file formats and mm, compression uh, file formats compression techniques all those things uh, this one also has really helped me like uh, uh, higher compression ratio would lead to higher uh, cpu cycles all those things especially and uh, overhead memories all the, using overhead memories optimize optimizely all those things great so that's a lot of uh, knowledge that you would have gained from the course as well which has come handy while you're working yes. so i have seen that a lot of professionals uh, at the moment like are migrating from their current roles uh, to uh, you know like uh, they are aspiring to build a solid career in the data engineering field so how easy as per you is to achieve this stable career in the data domain uh, and also to survive in the industry i feel like it's not that hard and that easy it will be a moderate level because it will be uh, based on the individual uh, learning efforts uh, firstly, we should know some good knowledge into programming skills as we discussed earlier and then some other high low level understanding of each and every spa, uh, big data technologies. And then if they could try uh, to gain some project experience, personal project experience or within their company, then they could it should be very good for them to gain a good job in the market based in the data domain, especially into data engineering. Mm-hmm. Perfect. So how important do you think is uh, having uh, cloud services knowledge uh, at the moment in the industry right now? Uh, Is it uh, sufficient to have the knowledge of one cloud provider or is it important that you are aware of multiple clouds as well? Firstly, cloud is very important these days. Without clouds, there is nothing, almost nothing. 
even though there are uh, on premise uh, systems they are migrating it to clouds and co- talking about the multi cloud architecture ha- at a senior level at 4 years 5 years plus experience it would be very great having uh, multi cloud experience which i have now itself within 2 years of experience with help of trendy tech that especially and then uh, in the initial stages if you have even a uh, single cloud experience it would be great but in a senior level it will be very helpful to in architecture especially in architect levels it would be very great having multi, multi cloud architecture providing solutions between multi cloud between aws or azure cloud or gcp all those things perfect okay uh, well uh, could you share some insights into the specific areas of implements uh, in your uh, skills or the knowledge that enable you to progress from struggling in interviews so you had uh, mentioned as well that initially you weren't able to get through even a single round of the interview yes. and now successfully clearing the interviews and thriving in the big data field uh, how did you achieve this uh, before trendic i have given several interviews but i even i could not clear the first round of interviews they asked me some uh, join techniques i d- even didn't know uh, as per sql i know left join inner join all those things but i didn't know broadcast join all those things but i couldn't clear those interviews even with the basics and after this after several months into the trendy tech course i'll especially big data masters course uh, i cleared uh, even second rounds of interviews and successfully clearing them mm-hmm. they mostly i highlighted my skills into optimization in spark and then some other big data technologies as well great okay so uh well there is a lots of hands on or practice that is required for a professional to be able to gain that skill set uh, into that particular niche right so how did you maybe practice or uh, h- how did you work on the project so that you can build that uh, confidence in working on challenging projects in the industry uh, firstly the the cluster was cluster provided by the course in the course i used it a lot to practice and uh, like where things which i mentioned earlier and then i same things which i implemented in the in my company's project as well well also akil if you can probably walk us through a few interview rounds like maybe the questions asked in those interview rounds what was the focus area of that particular mm-hmm. round uh, if you can give a high level of uh, you would have attended a couple of interviews multiple interviews so if you can brief us about the interview process for a data engineering role yes uh, for, for the first one in the first company it's a pharma manufacturing company uh, there the first round was like sql analytical functions window functions all these things and then uh, some cloud cloud knowledge on uh, aws glue emr all those things and then further we had some discussion with uh, pyspark optimizations and they asked some simple uh, pyspark questions i felt it simple i don't know if it be difficult for others and then that's it with the first round second round was a techno managerial round it was most into project discussion in my current pro- what the my current project and what will be my future project if i move into that company uh, and mostly it was go- went fine that's it. Mo- mostly managerial questions like oh, what was the uh, bit repo we use all those things like bit bucket bamboo all those things okay right perfect uh, so it was a pleasure talking to you um, akil so uh, finally yes. if you have any uh, suggestions or advice or tips for all the data engineers who are aspiring to build a career in this field uh, any tips from your end my tips would be learn everything in a low level in a deeper understanding especially with spark hadoop uh, hadoop hdfs file system and at least one cloud if possible two but at least one cloud aws or azure or gcp anything would be fine okay right thank you so much akil uh, you. for your time and uh, uh, wishing you loads of success for your future endeavors from the team trendy tech as well thank you for having us yeah thank you thank you so guys if you've enjoyed the video and found it informative do show some love and support by subscribing to the channel and liking the video if you have any queries related to career in big data do mention them in the comments we will try to address them in the upcoming videos thank you so much for watching